Well, hello there, I'm the Star Wars guy, and welcome back to the cantina of Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. <clears throat> it's time for GAC, people. Oh, you know what it's also time for? Me to turn the game audio on. I think I remember that by now. Okay, but before we do that, let's update you guys on what's been going on in this account because it is awesome. <coughs> so much stuff has been happening. Okay, I think I talked about this last time, but we do have six star palps. You might have know Stumbled over my words. You might have noticed my golden Darth Vader. He's up to gear 12 now. And uh, we've put a little bit of work into his mods, making him a little bit better. Um, but I'm not quite ready to slice too many mods. Tenacity. Well, I guess that's fine. Because uh, we're still spending our mod energy on actually obtaining mods. So we're going to do that right over here in the mod challenge. And actually, I need some health arrows. So, uh, And since we do have a lot of crystals, I have been doing some refreshes. I really, I really need two health mods with primary speed on the arrow. Let's see if we can't get one of those. Oop, nope, not there. But at any rate, this early in the game, when you do have those extra crystals, it is helpful to go ahead and do some refreshes on those mods. I recommend going until you're, you know, until it's 100 crystals to refresh. Come on, give me an arrow, please. How do you, I didn't even get an arrow that the past three times. Ah, <sighs> alas. Okay, the other thing I'm doing, check this out. Uh, Hera, I believe. Yep, seven stars. So with the accelerated drops, I found it makes sense, and we do have a lot of extra crystals right now. It makes sense to just do some refreshes on that cantina. So for example, let's do this. We're gonna refresh, I mean 20 though, that's huge. Oh, only six, that sucks. Wow, okay, nice. We're gonna refresh until that 100 turns into a 200. <clears throat> I don't really feel comfortable spending 200 on a refresh, but you're gonna see, we're gonna jump up leaps and bounds here. There you go, 75, I think it's 200 now, yep, so there you go. <clears throat> so uh, Ezra will be seven stars tomorrow. Meaning we can, all we have to do, all we have to do is get Palpatine and Thrawn to seven stars and then we can just ditch the Phoenix and not worry about them anymore. So that's what I'm going for there. Th uh, my boy Tarkin, not Thrawn, he's about to be, uh... boom, right there. Just like that. Seven star Tarkin, that's gonna help the ship too. Uh, and then the other one that's in that store is Sidious here. So actually, let's just do the stores. How about that? So now the only place we're putting this currency is on Darth Sidious. <clears throat> we do have a lot of guild currency coming in. Now that we're kind of in the guild, so we're going to be putting that on Stark. And the rest on gear, probably. And down here... Really nothing. So we're going to do Chopper. Some gear here, this is gonna come in handy when it's time for relics, which it is almost time for already. What are we, like a week into this account? Let's go ahead and get a Zeta here. Look around in here, we're looking for Darth Maul. Darth Maul's gonna show up in two places. <clears throat> he's gonna show up in this fleet store, and he's gonna show up in the guild store. I am not used to looking for him, so I'm gonna have to get that in my head. So I've had him seven stars since, ooh, I don't know, 2016. Finally, we have some guild currency in here too. When you join a new guild, there's always kind of like a waiting period, a lot, especially if they're in the middle of a you know territory war, territory battle, whatever. So it's always a little bit before you get the rewards that you want. Now, Arena, we're up to 23. We pushed as high as, I wanna say like, I don't know, 13 or something. We're gonna try it. I'm just, at this point, I'm just trying the top team. So when you see the three teams laid out, the one on the left. <clears throat> Uh-oh, with a Basila team, we could probably get some debuffs here. On Vader, there we go. All right, so let's go Merciless. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna try to get that Vader out. One more here. One more drop in here. And then we hit him hard. Oh, we almost got him. So close. Got it. Boom. Vader's gone. That's one of the relics gone. I think Yoda's the other one, right? Yep. Okay. Let's uh, let's see if we can't stun him. Get him just sit down and shut up for a minute. Okay. Well, we work on, I guess, Anakin. He's a 
Solid attacker. And ability block, that's actually nice. Although he's stunned. <clears throat> we got him kind of stun locked right now. I don't know what is going on with my throat today, but it's, it's not wanting to stay clear. Okay, Basila, we'll just we'll work on you for, look at this, look at this. All right, Vader, do your thing. Let's kill this Yoda right here once and for all. Boom, goodbye. And this is why I just really love this team. The one weak link I would say is Tarkin. And we'll be, uh, we're gonna be subbing in Piet soon. And he'll either sub for Dooku or Tarkin. Dooku is a great character, really good character. But I don't know if he's gonna have a place on our on our final team. Let me get that turn meter, nope. Just because Admiral Piet has an ability that really relies on having a full team of uh, Empire allies. And having, uh, and since Dooku's not Empire, that kind of messes with that ability a little bit. All right, we're starting to see some Jedi Revens up there. All right, well, you guys have been patient enough. Let's spend this energy and then get in there and do some gack. Where to spend it? Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, it's probably a good choice here. What does he need to be here for these? 59, 64. 64. How much to take him all the way up? We have 5.6 million. It'll take everything we got. All right, let's just go to like 70. How about that? I don't want to run my credits to zero just yet. A lot of these things, huh? Great place for fleet energy. So Piet, uh, we do have him unlocked. He's not quite ready to be in the squad. He's only two stars. He would be an obvious weak link that would die pretty much instantly in every fight. <coughs> so we're going to get him up a little more, a little more stars. Ooh, there we go. Nice. A little more gear. And of course, abilities, mods, all that stuff. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and farm that there before I forget. Oh, come on, man. I get one Fiat shard and six repo shards. Come on. Uh, this is the move right here. The Emperor's Trap. This is the one. So when you get down here, it's just, uh, it's a big offense thing. And it actually buffs Vader a little bit as well when he's in the same squad. Okay. I don't think we got any, but just to be safe. Yeah, the ones we have. So I did put a three-star mod on Palpatine just for now. So we could get uh, just a little bit of speed boost there. Obviously, that's going get, to get gone at some point. So go in here and sell anything that's not a five dot mod. We actually need speed mods here, it looks like, although we can sub some of these out. We have a decent amount of speed mods, so I'm not sold on any of that yet. So what I'm trying to do is mod up my main team here a lot, as best I can. And then when it comes time for those events with the Phoenix, we're just gonna move those loadouts over, just like we did in the other account. And that way I don't have to worry about modding Phoenix, you know, unnecessarily. I don't I don't want to put any any more effort into my Phoenix than basically getting them start up. The hyperdrive bundle kind of has them where where I want them. We might put a little more on, you know, Ezra or something like that just to help us out. Um that's gonna be it for now. I still don't have a place to spin that gear, but I'm gonna look here at Vader because I'd like to get him to gear 13 as soon as possible, because he's going to be game changing. A lot of the gear 13 stuff in here. Okay, I'll do that. Yeah, sure. There we go. Something, just for now. Get that energy spent. All right, let's gack it up. Now, our, uh, they have full cleared us. I did see that. However, they did stumble on our ships. And they did two battles there, so we still have a shot. Now, here on the south side, we have an, a weirdly led Ahsoka... Rex and Fives team. I think that's Fives. Always mess them, mess them up based on their little icons. Yep. Interesting choice because Ahsoka does have a leader ability. Um, I rarely see it used and it does nothing to clones. So that's um, an interesting choice there. I think I'm going to use our clones for this. And we're going to hold off on this uh, Sith team here. And we're going to see what's behind this. Now, if we stumble once, it's not the end of the world. We don't want to stumble twice, though. 
we're gonna outsmart him by using the Rex lead and Echo, and we're gonna see, we're gonna see if we can do this here. We have decent luck with our clones. Again, though, part of the Hyperdrive bundle, we have no mods, so it's an uphill battle. But so far, we've actually won, won a lot more than we've lost, so. Can we get it right here? Quite. Now we do have a leader ability advantage, but they have the mod advantage. Although I looked through their mods a little bit and it's not, not anything crazy. All right, we're gonna go for Rex next. Those assists. Oh, here we go. Let's try this. Here we go. Fives will sacrifice, but we're gonna kill him right here before it matters. <clears throat> okay, cool. Not too bad. In this account, I'm just happy to clear them on the first battle. Okay, who do we have back here? A 16,000 Karth team. Okay, well that's not bad. So up here we're going to use our power trio here. Now, let's do this on that to avoid that counterattack. We're gonna go merciless. Hit you. Oh, that's right. We don't have the Zeta in this one. Because we joined uh, before we had it. Okay. We sat, sat Dooku down in timeout. So let's handle his buddies and then come back to him. Nope, thought I could call him. Not quite. Okay, and goodbye. That's pretty clean. I will take that. Oh, thank you. Char. Awesome guy. Love him. Okay. Now what do we do here? I'm thinking we go Phoenix. Shouldn't have a problem with this. Do we have the speed advantage? Can we get her out of here fast? I would like that very much. Get that taunt off. There we go. Nope, nope. She goes under. Expected. All right, let's go ahead and give this to you. Salbar is uh, is a problem for sure. Oh, stop dodging. There we go. Okay, we're doing something now. Let's see if we can't get Karth out of here, and then Salbar, don't taunt, buddy. Taunt here though. There's the taunt. And Retribution. Hate that combo. We can get off him right here, though. Boom. Okay, got him. Okay. All right, now we go ham on Zalbar here. Yes, the expose worked that time. Perfect. Hey, so far, one, one battle each. I will absolutely take that. Okay. Ships over here on the north side. Wow. Should not be a problem at all. Just gonna go with my, uh, well, we'll use four. Now we clear this. We should win. Let's find out. Try to set it up so I can AOE them right here. Nice. Victory! All right, that should be enough points to win it. 1156 to 1124. We win again. I know I keep saying we're, we've, we're struggling in this account, and that is technically true, but I think we've only lost like one. So we're doing okay. Now the other account, ooh, it got rough. The first two were rough. The first round was rough. Uh, we've been doing better. I think I think since the first two, we we've been doing pretty good. In this account, I do remember actually. I think we lost the last one by like two points or something like that. So I'm just happy we're completing them at all. Odds make all the difference. Fleet challenge is it Zeta Day? Ooh, it's everything day. 
Now the next data we get here is going on Palpatine's leader ability. Hopefully we can get that before Gak recycles again. And that way the next round we will just be unstoppable. We could probably honestly use... For some teams we could probably solo them with Vader and then use uh, Palpatine, Thrawn, and Tarkin as another combo, or, or Dooku instead of Tarkin. That could work. Especially in 3v3, uh, it's easier to solo teams, obviously, because there's less people. I've tried this a bunch of times. We're not quite ready for it. We can't even kill one of them before they kill all of us. Okay, do we have another squad arena opened up? We do. I don't want to fight that Revan team, that's for sure. This is essentially the exact same team we have. Uh, literally the exact same team we have. Like, almost down to the power. They have a little more power because they have more stars, but... Oh, uh, let's see what we can do. Mirror match! We have the speed bump, probably. Yep, okay, cool. All right, we're going to try to get that Vader out of there first. And then this team should crumble. Come on. Look at that. Overthrown next. Let's see if we can stop Palpatine before he shocks all of us. Uh, Fracture Dooku, get him out of the game for a second. Then we hit him all with this. I did not mean to click that, I meant to click that. There we go. Now we kill Palpatine. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. This team has not taken a move yet. Can we do it? Ah, oh, no, they got one move off. Man. That was a pretty handy victory there. And we jump up to number 14. Okay, there you go, guys. That's all we're gonna knock out today. I'm gonna get in here and get this Galactic War done. Uh, just, just trying to knock that out. Uh, I'm the Star Wars guy. I do Star Wars videos every single day. Uh, I encourage you to click the join button below. Read through those perks if you see anything in there that sounds interesting. I'd love it if you could sign up at any tier. I super, super appreciate that. It's uh, because of you guys and because of members and patrons on Patreon that uh, I'm able to do this channel every day. So thank you for that. If you choose to do that and support me, I really appreciate that. Um, subscribe below for more Star Wars content every day, and I'll see you in the next video.